Hello, I'm John Ray on the price and value journey. Raising prices is not just about making more money. Occasionally, I run into people who, in a bad attempt at humor, tell me that I'm contributing to the inflation problem because of my encouragement to professional services firm owners to tend to their pricing. I also get a few who, in a backhanded way, accuse me of giving license to business owners to be quote-unquote greedy. That's a big load of buffalo bagels, folks, and that's as kind as I can be about it. What the uninformed don't realize, or sometimes they don't choose to understand, is that arguably the biggest challenge small business owners face, and particularly professional services providers who are pricing what's between their ears, is adequately pricing their product or service. Because of this struggle, the entire business suffers. Because of inadequate pricing, employees don't get the raises they should receive, leading to unnecessary turnover. The business itself doesn't get the cash flow needed for reinvestment to improve customer experience or add client benefits. There's not enough financial flexibility to allow the business owner to work on the business instead of in it. Maybe, most important, the business owner suffers personally. They experience a high stress level, which untended leads to burnout, problems at home, and worse. Small business owners are not like a corporate behemoth squeezing out every little penny possible, such as the one with a website on which you'll go check out an item, come back a few minutes later to buy, and you'll find the price has gone up a few dollars because your online behavior that they're tracking surreptitiously predicts that you're ready to buy. I talked to one of my clients recently about this subject. He said something that I love, that one of the benefits of better pricing is that you fall in love with the business all over again. I just love that. He went on to talk about how the stress of business ownership gets lowered. You create a better life and you get time back. We talked about how time is a vanishing asset, which can never be replaced. In reflecting on our conversation later, I also thought about giving back. Small business owners overall are extraordinarily generous. They come at life wanting to help people and solve their problems. This characteristic extends over to their community involvement. They love being able to give back. Many owners I know put funding a cause important to them high on the list of reasons for leaving corporate to start their own business. Sure, there are some bad actors among small business owners, but I find they're the exception. The preponderance of small business owners I know, if anything, are too selfless. And that's one reason I'm passionate about pricing. I'm John Ray on the Price and Value Journey. Past episodes of this series can be found at pricevaluejourney.com. And if you'd like to send me a note, you can email me, John at johnray.co. Thank you for joining me.